Good evening, Kokimino. Be hot now, bless the Lord, all your servants of the Lord. Be hot that you blow heat that on Kirion pan the Shivoli Kiri. Who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God? Be hot now, bless the Lord. On your service of the Lord. The reading is from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am your God, be pleasing before me and blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly, and you shall be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your seed after you and their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be your God and the God of your seed after you. Then Abram fell on his face and worshipped the Lord. Then God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your seed after you throughout their generations. This is the covenant you shall keep between me and you and your seed after you throughout their generations. Every male child among you shall be circumcised, and you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin. It shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. A child of eight days old shall be circumcised by you. Every male child throughout your genealogy and the uncircumcised male child who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, on the eighth day, that soul shall be cut off from his people, for he has broken my covenant. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Lord created me in the beginning of his ways for his works. He established me in the beginning before time, before he made the earth and before he made the abysses, before the going forth of the fountains of waters, before the mountains were created, and he begot me before all hills. The Lord made the fields and the uninhabited places and the inhabited heights under heaven. When he prepared heaven, I was present with him. And when he set apart his throne upon the winds, when he made strong the things above the clouds, and made sure the fountains under heaven, and made strong the foundations of the earth, I was working beside him. I was he in whom he rejoiced daily and continually, I was glad and by his face. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The mouth of a righteous man distills wisdom. The lips of righteous men distill grace. But the mouth of the humble mediates on wisdom. The righteous of the upright man delivers them. When a righteous man dies, his hope does not perish. A righteous son is begotten unto life. A good man eats from the fruits of righteousness. Light is with the righteous continually, and they will find grace and glory from the Lord. The tongue of the wise understands good things. There is wisdom in the good heart of man. The Lord loves holy hearts, and all the blameless are acceptable to him. Wisdom is radiant and unfading. She comes upon those who long to know her. It is easily perceived by those who love her. He who rises early in the morning to seek her will not grow weary. And he who keeps watch for her will soon be free from worry, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she appears to them favorably in their paths. Evil cannot overcome wisdom. I became a lover of her beauty. I loved her and sought her from my youth, and desired to take her as a bride for myself. The master of all loves her, for she is the initiate of the knowledge of God, and one who chooses his, chooses his works. The products of righteousness are the virtues, for wisdom teaches self-control, discernment, righteousness, and courage, concerning which things there is no more valuable in the life of man. But also, if anyone longs for great experience, she knows the things of old and portrays the things to come. She understands subtlety of words and the solution of riddles. She has foreknowledge of signs and wonders and the outcomes of times and seasons. And to all she is a good counselor. In kinship with wisdom there is immortality and in the fellowship of her words there is good repute. So I entreated the Lord and besought to him, 
And with all my heart I said, O God of our fathers and the Lord of mercy, who made all things by your word and in your wisdom built a man, that by you may he be the master of what is created, and manage the world in holiness and righteousness. Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne, and do not reject me from among your servants, because I am your servant, and the son of your maidservant. Send her forth from your holy heavens, and send her from your holy glorious throne, that she might be present with me in labor, and that I might know what is well-pleasing to you. For if she knows and understands all things, she will guide me wisely in my actions, and guard me with her glory. For the reasoning of morals is cowardly, and our intents are unsaid. 